And we see those things as kids and we don't realize any other way. Uh, Ken, it said strange to think about, but I witnessed and recognized a marriage in my parents where they held a lot of resentment and just, quote, like stayed together, end quote. It's been hard to recognize or admit my own problems in my marriage. And Brett was like, yeah, same, same here, Kent. Yeah, that was my experience. My, my parents fought like just put everything on their sleeve basically. And so did my grandparents. And we see those things as kids and we don't realize any other way. And that's what we run into is our family systems patterns, what we've learned, all these unconscious drives and strategies that, that that's what we replicate. How else are we to know? And that's why we have this tribe. So how have you actively, I know that this was a big deal for you in your college years and in your twenties and thirties, of course, of, flushing out those family systems patterns, those, those unconsciously learned, now learned strategies for relationship and then flushing them out. What brought you as a woman to that want to learn those things? And, and a second question is, can we do anything other than model that path for the woman that we're with now or the woman that the gentlemen are with or their, their separated spouse or they want to reconcile or they want to save their marriage in, in a way or have version 2.0 how were you drawn to that work and and what can we do as men other than model or is that all we can do well i guess first i'm to hear you know out there that the message gentlemen receive is that women are the experts on relationship is um it's just, it's wrenching to me. Um, Cause what you just said about modeling energy and leading energy uh, is like such a profound, important part of relationship and the masculine energy and the way a man gives his heart to the world is relationship like in exponential exponential ways I, again the generosity and the grace of a man giving himself to his world holding space for his family um, is so expansive and uh, it just kind of crushes me a little bit inside that the message is out that you know women get to know everything about relationship um, and I certainly didn't like what brought me to learning about my family systems is I saw like I was failing in a relationship in many ways. I was not feeling like I was a attracting people who or wanted to work on relationship. Um, they wanted, I was attracting young guys who wanted it just to be quick and easy and, and everything was fixable. And I always had this desire to want to learn and grow. Um, and I also saw my parents never really knew how to, never communicated. There was never any arguing. It was just all beneath the surface. And I saw myself doing that in relationships, like having no concept of how to, knowing what I wanted or needed or even how to ask for that. Um, and then I would get really quiet and that would be really boring to the guy and it just would never flourish from there. And I did not want to keep repeating that. I wanted, I knew there was something bigger and better and I wanted to learn how to speak and communicate. So what can we as men do aside from model? Is that the best Plan. So from a woman's point of view, your professional point of view, a man's doing this work, he's stopped fucking up, he's growing his own self, and now he wants to start moving into asking, asking for her to step forward with him, or asking to start version 2.0, or even asking for little bits within this next 10 minutes. Not version 2.0, but just today, mm -hmm. or this week. How could he lead in a way that has a chance of being connecting with her? I mean, it depends on the woman, it depends on their value system. I want to answer John's question here in a second. He has about value. It's basically about values and prioritizing values and how you, the two of you talk about that together. So how can he do that? What can he do to bring vision and modeling and leadership into that space? Yeah, well, so again, it, women do not know at all about relationship. And I think that there, 
so many of us struggle to even know what our bottom drawer desires and needs are, let alone like how to vocalize that in a, like, in a positive way, um, that it's truly in touch and deep and not at a surface level. And when you as a man are clear about your own values, your own deep desires, your own deepest vision, and you speak of that, and you invite that into the conversation, um, that, that's a relief to be able to share that in a space with someone who's inviting that forth. I think you've said something that she can push up against or lean up against when maybe she hasn't had that with you, the man, forever. Yeah. So it's new, right? Yeah. yeah.